There's a warning tonight from the city of Minneapolis before you cook all that wonderful food on Thanksgiving. Homeowners could now be liable if grease or fat from their drains clog city pipes, leading to repairs. It's part of a new law the city recently passed. New at 10, our Jeff Wagner got a plumber's input on how to make sure that you are not footing the city's bill. Along Hennepin Avenue between 8th and 9th Street, bright lights shine and traffic flows smoothly. But down below, it's a different and disgusting story. We have 900 miles of pipe in the city of Minneapolis. And some stretches look like this, grease coating the walls as water trudges along. The city says it's because people pour their fats and oils from cooking down the drain, causing clogs not just under their homes or restaurants, but eventually city pipes. So your behavior might negatively impact three or four of your neighbors and ultimately result in a costly mess. A cost you might now have to pay. A new Minneapolis ordinance states that repairs to grease-clogged city pipes will be billed to those who caused the problem. City leaders say over the past five years, it's cost them more than a million dollars. We want to make sure that we can invest that money in the entire system and that it goes to benefit all of the ratepayers. But these are some of the cameras that I use. Plumber Mark Risto of Twin City Drain sees it all the time. That's probably 45% of my business. He says cramming food down the garbage disposal only adds to the problem, but he feels the city's old infrastructure, including 100-year-old pipes, could also be to blame. Are they broken? Are, is there lips in them? Is there something in there that's going to catch this grease and start a dam? But again, how are you going to identify where it came from? By inspecting manholes, the city says it can determine the grease's source. But they'd much rather offer advice on how to avoid the problem. Number one, pour the grease from your pan into an empty tin can or jar like this one. You can either reuse it or toss it. You can also take a paper towel and just wipe out the pan before you clean it. Risto also suggested cleaning your drains using any type of vinegar and baking soda. He says pour it down the drain, let it bubble up, then flush it down with hot water. In the kitchen, Jeff Wagner, WCCO4 News.